jump back with me to the past and remember a time when games were simpler, where edgy black and red chaos controlling ultimate life forms were but a far flung idea for the future and where a little blue hedgehog with a knack for speed ruled over gaming. Sonic was a titan in his prime, an undisputed masterpiece of side-scrolling action brought to life in an explosion of colour and charisma, but somewhere along the way to 2017, that initial spark of brilliance began to fade. Generations and colours represented a flicker of hope, but ultimately what originally made the blue blur so brilliant had been lost. But now, as if ripped straight from the days of the Genesis, comes Sonic Mania. Despite initial impressions, this is not just a simple re-release of the original Sonic games, but rather a love letter to fans who have longed for a return to the classic gameplay and visuals. Sonic, Tails and Knuckles all feature in the game, and are fully playable. You run through the stages, collect rings to stay alive, defeat the boss at the end, and then move on to the next zone. It's a dead simple concept, but it has so many twists and turns throughout the game that it doesn't grow stale. Case in point, Oil Ocean's second act has a pollution mechanic whereby you must always be on the lookout for hooks to vent away the smog. Then there's Chemical Plant where you need to be aware of the bouncy sludge stuff that is required to move through the stage. And in Press Garden there are certain points at which you need to intentionally freeze yourself in order to progress. What you get with this is not just a unique look and layout to each stage, but also a distinct gameplay mechanic. Some are more prevalent than others, and they may not all be to your taste. I mean, I can't say I'm a massive fan of underwater gameplay, but on the whole it goes a long way in building up the game's sense of identity. Following on from this, you get further gameplay value from the fact that stages can be tailored to characters. For instance, Knuckles, who has the ability to glide and climb up walls, has different stage layouts that complement his character. Further still extending the game's value are time attack and competitive. The latter is essentially a split screen mode where you can speed through the stage with another player locally. Time Attack though, especially in a game like Sonic Mania, has an immense amount of potential. Even though the game is in fact fairly challenging if you just want to beat every zone, entering into the meta game of trying to beat other players on the leaderboards is a daunting challenge, but one that the branching stage layout lends itself very well to. Finding the optimal route for a stage is one thing, but mastering it is quite another. Some of the later stages especially go on for a very long time and are filled with obstacles. It will really test your skills if you want to be the best. Sonic Mania recaptures 16-bit gaming pretty much perfectly. To Retro and Sonic fans, at this price point it isn't even a decision. To others it's going to come down to taste, though I strongly encourage giving it a go. Considering what it's trying to be, what it's professing to offer and how well it's executed, 10 hedgehogs out of 10. I've been Archivist with yet another quickfire review.